used to say that if you really want to get to know somebody that you're dating, that you should take a trip with them, or you should sit in traffic for a long time, <laughs> or you should pay attention to how they treat the server at a restaurant. And I think that's true. I think those are great ways to gain insight on someone's character. But also, those were the before times. And I think after the past two years that we've all had, we can all agree that the very best way to get to know somebody is to be locked indoors with them for 18 months. <laughs> <laughs> Their relationship began in March of 2020. And due to circumstances beyond everyone's control, it primarily developed at home. Instead of going out for dinner at restaurants, they were seeing each other at a six foot distance from outdoors, <laughs> or showing up at one another's doorstep with a box of donuts. In a time that was characterized by isolation and grief, you gave one another community and joy. Although Katie has always been a very happy person, very confident, very self-aware person, Gabe, I gotta tell you that I have never seen the love, the happiness, and the completeness that she shows in her face when she looks at you. I love the way that, that you guys have, have brought your lives together and you share experiences together. In your marriage, love constantly, accuse slowly, forgive quickly, and share everything. Face life challenges together for you are stronger as a team. Open your hearts to each other and put your marriage first. And finally, always seek first to understand before you seek to be understood. If I had to pick one word to describe how I feel today, it would be lucky. Looking back at that first date on March 9th, 2020, Neither of us had any idea what the world was about to face. The following times were full of uncertainty, sickness, and moments more challenging than some had ever endured. Luckily for me, I had you by my side. I found the one person that I didn't think existed, a person that I could spend month after month in lockdown with and still look forward to the next day, Caitlin. I promise to support you, even when the obstacle seems too big to climb, just like that chilly morning in Bryce Canyon when you were done with the hike just as it started. I promise to protect you and to help build the best future that I can for both you and our family. I pledge to keep these promises close to my heart as long as I live as your faithful and devoted husband. Kate, you couldn't have come into my life at a more perfect time. I wasn't expecting you, but you turned out to be exactly what I needed the most. You comforted me and loved me when I was at my most vulnerable. You kept me tethered when the world turned upside down. Even though our beginning was far from traditional, I wouldn't have it any other way. I knew you were special when early in our relationship, you said you needed to go home and do laundry. <laughs> and I responded that I had a washer and dryer. <laughs> in that moment, I realized you were someone I wanted to spend more time with than without. From this day until my last day, I take you as my husband, confidant, and companion. I love you, Katie. I love you, baby. We are very excited to welcome Gabe to the family, especially Drew, because Katie, you have a husband of your own now to do your fix it up work at the house. I love you, Booger, and I'm beyond excited to welcome Gabe to our family. And let's raise a toast to Katie and Gabe, Booger and Little Chicky. By the power vested in me by the state of Georgia, I pronounce you husband and wife. Gabe, you may kiss your bride. here tonight to celebrate a love that you guys have found and nurtured together. Everybody loves a love story. about you guys here but for me I can see it very clearly 40 50 years from now Caitlin and Gabe sitting around with their grandkids recounting stories of their younger days may your marriage be one of compassion 
truth and understanding, granting you with a lifetime of great stories. Cheers.